Samhain's Special Friend, written and illustrated by Griffin Hall. To the moon, fall, and night that inspires me. To Allison. On the night of Hallow's Eve, a boy they did conceive. His name was Samhain, born when blooms aren't flowerin'. He was a strange child, with only dark clothes and hair going wild. He had friends others couldn't see, but he hadn't any real friends where they ought to be. They took him to a physician, but couldn't name his condition. They took him to a father, but the friar wouldn't bother. They even took him to a medium, but even young Samhain couldn't believe in him. So young Samhain looked to the shadows that danced, and with soft applause he asked, How did you do that? But many years have passed, and now it is time for school. Meet someone new, Mother said, but it was the quest of a fool. There is no way Samhain could make a friend, not now, not even at the world's end. The people there were rude, loud, and were certainly not intriguing. At most times, the people of school left Samhain seething. Still, his bestest friends remained the shadows, and those others couldn't see. When they were around, it were Samhain's only moments of peace. The last of summer had passed, and so began the fall. But still, Samhain had no friends at all. How is it coming along, boy? father asked. All these people do is annoy, Samhain exclaimed, the shadows around him dancing like open flame. Still, his parents pushed and pushed. Once more into the storm, Samhain thought, he first met a girl who paid attention to him not. In fact, the popular girl was in a world of her own because she refused to look up from her phone. Her name was Ariana and she wouldn't make a good friend. Next on the docket was Brad, the sporty type. Built like Hercules, but the brain of a gnat. He wasn't worth the hype, and certainly not all that. He always was so rough with Samhain, given that Brad's height was towering. Walking home with bruised arms and a wedgie that didn't quit, Samhain distanced from the, nit from the nimwit. Brad would not make a good friend. Samhain went home that day, and he slept. And he slept. And he slept. Until he was awoken by the shadows in his room, come to say hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Shadow. Hello, Mrs. Moon. We're sorry to wake you so late, said Mr. Shadow. If it's important, why should we wait? Samhain said with a smile. We notice you haven't got friends for a while. Mm-hmm, chimed Mrs. Moon. We've got a deal for you. A, a deal? What one you up to? What are you up to? Said Samhain. Uh, we did some work and we found a girl. And we got a plan ready to unfurl. Samhain looked most intrigued. Uh, for now, I believe. Her name is Helena, and she's a lot like you. Is this real? Is this true? Samhain sat, sat up in bed. <laughs> we don't lie, sugar. She'd make a great friend. On a quest for Helena did Samhain embark, though for sure he doubted the words of the dark. Nervous, he spoke to Mr. Shadow. It, what do I do? What do I do now? Helena turned and grinned with a wave, hitting Samhain with confusion like a tidal wave. Oh, I know him. He's super helpful and cool, Helena said. I didn't know you could see him. Now I see why I came to school. They talked and talked and found great joy in one another. They met day after day, one after another. Soon they couldn't be apart. They gave each other's lives a brand new start. They celebrated with their families, Mr. Shadow and Mrs. Moon, They'd talk from the night to the next afternoon. Samhain and Helena were happy that their loneliness would end and that they could be each other's special friend. But was it the end? Even the middle? 
No, none of the above. It was only a new beginning, to be read in Samhain Falls in Love.